I guarantee these are the three death moves which are killing your driver game. Sacrificing your consistency, distance, and accuracy. Now, one of these is a little bit strange, and you'll go, God, why didn't I think of that before? Well, this is what I'm here to help you do. Play your best golf this season and drive it longer and straighter. Welcome to a brand new video. My name's Alex Elliott, a PGA Golf Professional and Top 50 World Coach. Do subscribe to the channel and turn the bell to never miss one of our free golf tips. We're answering this question today from Scott about driver distance. And he's actually asked a separate question right at the end. Would more loft help slower swing speeds? Let's dive into it. So let's first show you what these three death moves are. Now, one thing I would say, you improve one of these, period, you will drive the golf ball better. So first one I would say, and this is one that's really, really basic, is essentially standing over the golf ball with our chest like this. This is gonna seriously harm how you come into the golf ball. This is what I would sort of classify more of an iron setup. Number two on our list, and I, I think this is a real killer, is that move in transition. Driver, right, is so tempting, and we get that little thing in our head that goes, go on, give it a hit. But that rush of that move from here to here is an absolute killer in terms of strike. And the final one, and this is the one that's a little bit strange, but really easy to fix, is as we're coming in, we try and guide it straight, and we lead with that elbow. We don't want to see that. That club head is not swinging fast. The arm's swinging fast. This isn't. We want this to swing fast. So I've got a real easy way of fixing these. And you know what? Some great new camera angles as well, which really allow you to see a great perspective. So I have a fix for all three of those death moves. And one thing I would say is, if you don't get them right, it's catastrophic for your driver game. And if you've got a brand new driver this year, <laughs> You wanna be able to use it, right? You wanna be able to enjoy using it. So let's start off with that setup, and this is just a great, easy hack. Now look at this camera angle. From above, you can see what that chest low looks like. My head is like ahead of that golf ball, whereas that chest back is this. This is all I want you to think. I want you to go down the idea of, well, I wanna see the underneath left-hand side of that golf ball. Well, I'll do that. Really nice and easy. And let me show you what I mean by underneath left hand side. Come here, come close. So if I always tee my gold ball up, this is a great hack, just like this. This would be the front left, this would be the front right, and this is the back left, where you wanna feel we can see. So we need to focus on this element and this spot right here. And that is as easy as I want you to make the setup. Dead easy, that. Now, the reason why this is the home of simple golf tips is that to fix two and three, there's just one thing you've got to do. Just grab a golf club. Now, that's just a reminder. If you are brand new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell to never miss an upload. Okay, so place a golf club down on the ground exactly as I have done there. Really, really important you follow this point because if you set up the drill wrong, it won't have the effect that you want. So. Nice and simple, that is set up just on the golf ball, highlighting and inside the left heel ball position. I want you now to move that golf club back by one fist, okay? Just like this here. So it's just behind the golf ball now. Set up your ball position, then move it back. Now simply, why this helps us to stop snatching quick at this point, and also stop that chicken wing, is nice and simple because of this. Have a look at this. If I do the wrong move, look how my head from this new camera angle goes significantly ahead of that line, okay? That now snatches me from the top and then I have to create space and guide that club head square like this. If, however, I do that the complete opposite way around, the correct way around, I want you to think about keeping your left ear behind that line on the floor, okay? This is the beauty of this drill. One thought does it all for you. So have a look at the difference here, right? You're now learning to keep the chest back, start with the lower half, and you're freeing up this space for the arms to go into. So think about it nice and simply. If you crowd the space, you've got to bend out of it. If you create the space, you can punch through it. And that's how you're gonna create speed. That's how you're gonna create consistency. Okay, let me hit one away with this drill. If you're at the range, please just hit, let's say 10, 15 at the end of your session like 
that. I'm going to hit one here and I'll show you what I think and tell you what I think on the golf course because that's key. So here we go. Watch this ball flight. I've got the drill set up. Keep my head back. Here we go. <laughs> that was like an absolute rocket. I love that feeling through that golf ball. So quickly out on the golf course, all I think about is keeping my left ear behind the golf ball. Nothing else. It's as simple as that. You've got the space to swing into. And finally, slower swing speed players definitely will benefit from lofting up. So if your driver is adjustable, maybe have a play around with lofting it up. Don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on another video.